guys I hope you're all having a fantastic day today for those of you who are returning back to my channel hello to you and thank you so much for being here I truly appreciate it I love having you guys here every single time I post a new video it's so nice to see you guys posting comments down below so definitely keep it up and know that I love having you here and for those of you who are new then hello my name is Katie I post new fandom videos here on my channel every single week we talk about Disney Harry Potter we do unboxings hauls all sorts of fun things so I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of our little corner of the internet I have a lot of really fun things coming up very soon I have an awesome collaboration coming up that I'm really excited about um, so definitely hit that subscribe button to stay tuned to all of the things that are coming up on my channel um so <laughs> I went out shopping today John went out shopping today I came home with a lot of things for me John came home with some things for me and then I also thought that I would just throw one thing in that I bought that I bought last week um so this is just gonna be like a huge giant haul but I also have some mystery things to unbox with you guys so we are just kind of doing everything so I'm gonna hit the ground running right now because I know that we have a lot to do so let's just do it all right so the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is a Funko Pop that I picked up last week um it is an FYE exclusive Funko Pop and it is Thor. I love Thor. He's my favorite Avenger, but what's really cool about this Thor is it is... I'm hoping that this isn't a spoiler at this point in life. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen Endgame yet, I guess maybe don't watch this little part. Um, <laughs> skip ahead to the rest of my Funko haul, um, which I will be doing first. But if you have seen it, then you probably know about this scene, and it is when he is holding Mjolnir and Stormbreaker all at the same time. It is a really cool pop. Um, I haven't actually taken him out yet, so let's see what he looks like out of the box. So this is the pop. Of course, he's bobbleheaded, um, so he has a weapon in each hand. I love the hair detail on him. So I will try to see if I can find this online. I've been trying to find it online before it came out in stores and I guess it must have been sold out because even searching on the FYE website I wasn't able to find it. Um, so I think your best bet would probably be to check in store. I will try to find it for you guys though. So hopefully if you're interested in this you'll be able to find it. But I just thought that this was so cool. So then the next Funko Pops that I have are ones that fall into the category of John saying these would look really cool in your collection which means I like them but I don't have a Funko Pop collection so you should have them so that they're a part of your collection but I can enjoy them too <laughs> um, and this is actually a new line of pops that they are doing and they're American history pops which is really cool so um, they have I think five total coming out three of which are Target exclusives, and then these two are, or, or, right, three of which, <laughs> and then these two are just common pops. So I think the other three that are coming out to Target are Rosie the Riveter, Abraham Lincoln, and then they have a big, like, movie moment size, um, Washington crossing the Delaware, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to hopefully be getting those other three to add to my collection next week our collection I should say um, next week we'll see if that actually happens I'm crossing my fingers target exclusives are just tough for me um, so hopefully we'll be able to get them but in the meantime I do have the two common ones that John picked up um, so the first one is Benjamin Franklin <laughs> of course um, he's holding his kite and he has his little bifocals on the box is really cool too because it actually has a picture of him um, on the back it's I think the picture that's on the hundred dollar bill um, and just a bunch of cool little artifacts that go along with his history so again haven't taken him out yet so let's see what he looks like here he is he's pretty cute right I like that they have like his kite string is kind of wrapped around his feet and he's holding it um, it has the key and everything He's pretty adorable, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is probably the cutest that Benjamin Franklin has ever looked in his life. <laughs> other one that is a common pop is George Washington our first president um, 
Okay, so on the back here though, it does not just have a picture of him. He is with Abraham Lincoln. So like I said, Abe will be at um, Target. I believe that it's the 28th of June is the street date for them. Here is George Washington. He's looking very dapper. Um, he has very fancy hair tied in a ponytail back here and his outfit is really cool. The last one that he picked up for me is just a touch more up my alley <laughs> I think you guys would agree and it is the Eeyore diamond edition pop um, there is a chase available of this pop it's blue with you know it's a blue version of Eeyore with blue glitter um, you guys know if you've been around I love the blue glitter diamond pops but I'm not mad about having just the common I think that this one is really cute too and he's very very sparkly so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out I haven't seen him in all his glory yet um, but I love this silver like on his muzzle snout I don't know what you would call that and even oh oh yeah see I'm okay with this these are just always like no matter how hard they try to not have glitter fall all over you when you take them out glitter is gonna fall all over you when you take these out um, so here he is oh he's so cute and so sparkly I oh my gosh and even like the inside I'll have to show you guys when I cook when I do the close-up but even the inside of his ears are glittery which is crazy to me how they're able to get glitter into such like tight spaces um, oh and the bottom of him is actually like kind of chromey which is kind of cool so he looks super super cute I don't know where oh it's down back there behind me. I was going to say, I'm not sure where I put all of my Eeyores, but he will be a very welcome addition to my Eeyore collection. Alright, so that is everything from Hot Topic. That's everything that John picked up for me, which is so, so sweet. Um, so then I'll show you, I think I got the most stuff at Box Lunch, so I'm going to go to the Disney store next because I really only got a couple things. Um... And I will say I love my Disney Store's clearance section. I think that they generally have a pretty decent sized clearance section. And when I actually went to the Disney outlet a couple weeks ago, I would say that my clearance section at the Disney Store by me was better than the selection at the Disney outlet. I'm planning on going back out to the Disney outlet next month. Um, but I'm, I'm generally pretty happy with what we have in my store. So that being said, I did end up picking up a shirt that was $7. I don't know what the original, let's see if I can find, where is the price tag? Um, the original price was $25.95, $24.95, excuse me, and I got it for $7. So I'm not going to complain. It's Star Wars, and it has Darth Vader and TIE Fighters. And it says Star Wars on it at the top, and then it says the dark side on the other side. And I love this so much. Darth Vader is my favorite character. I'm sure that that does not come as a surprise. If you know me, you know I love my villains. Um, so Darth is my favorite, and I just thought that this was a really, really cool shirt. I love how it's split down the center, and honestly, $7 for a Disney shirt at the Disney store? not gonna turn that down and then the other thing that I did pick up at the Disney store that I've kind of had my eye on and I was going back and forth about it because I don't have a lot of these um, particular figurines but I've been on a love affair with bullseye lately I think he's so cute so I got the toy toy box Pixar toy box figure of bullseye and he comes with one of the little green men which is really cute too um, but I just really like him. I love Bullseye. I can put him with my other Bullseyes. So here he is. He's so cute. Look at his face. And he's very articulated. So these are definitely fun little figures for kids to play with. Um, I think I'll probably get a couple of these for Toys for Tots. Because I think that these are so cute. They're so fun. How could these not bring a smile to your face, right? Just look at his face. So here's Bullseye. And then we have the little green man, of course. I'm on the fence about whether or not I'll be keeping him for myself, but I know that if I don't, I know plenty of people in my life who love these guys that I can gift him to them. All right, so then we are going over to Box Lunch, which is so wonderful in my mall. They are right across from each other. It's perfect. Um, and one of the first things that I found in my box launch that I'm so happy about because I have been wanting the bigger version of this specific 
item from um, the Disney store but they've been sold out for so long and I've just pretty much given up on ever actually getting it but I found the small version of it and I'm completely content with it and it is the Christopher Robin version of Winnie the Pooh and I cannot even stress to you how much this makes me happy um, so I do have the big size version of Eeyore the one that did come from the Disney store um, but I was never able to get my hands on Winnie the Pooh. I thought maybe I'd be able to get him in the parks, but they did not have him. They had every other character <laughs> except for Winnie the Pooh. Um, so I was really happy that they had him, and he was only $12.90. I know that the bigger ones were far more expensive. Um, and he's just so teeny and so adorable and so soft. So this just made my heart so happy. I really fell in love with Winnie the Pooh from the Christopher Robin movie. So then I was also able to pick up one of the Toy Story 4 pins um, they did have all of the ones that are available from box lunch um, right when I walked in the store pretty much but I did only pick up one and it was only a dollar more than the other ones um, that they are selling which is great because this is such a big size but it is the Toy Story 4 pin with all of the characters so we have Woody, Buzz, Jesse, Ham, Little Green Man, Duke Kaboom, um, Slinky Dog, Forky, Rex, and Bo Peep on there, and I just love this pin so much. It brings a smile to my face, and it has just so many characters that I love. Um, I love that Forky's on there. <laughs> love Forky. Um, we're actually going to see, I'll be posting this video on the day that we are going to see the movie. Um, so that'll be perfect, but I just thought that this was such a cute pin with everybody on it. <laughs> Alright, so then the last things that I have are both mystery items, and I feel like, alright, so both of them I, I was kind of like, I'm either done or just not going to start down this road kind of feeling with it, and then I got to the store, I saw that they had them, and I was like, okay and it makes it even worse because box lunch always does um anything under two under ten dollars you get buy two get one free so i think that that's such a great deal so i ended up caving and i got some stuff so we're gonna start with the thing that i've already opened and kind of decided i was gonna swear off but here we are. <laughs> and those are the Toy Story Mystery Minis from Funko. So I've opened a couple of these. I would say probably six to eight I've opened. And I always either get Woody, Buzz, or Bullseye. I'm pretty sure that that's all that I have. I don't have any other characters. It's just those three. And I keep getting them over and over and over again. Um, Woody and Buzz, I understand. They're both um, one and six. Bullseye is 1 in 12, and I'm very much like a shaker. Like, I will look at this box and be like, okay, I want this character, and so I'll shake it thinking that I can, like, figure out which one is in here by that. And I know that there are people who will carry, like, scales around, and there's, like, people that are super into figuring out which character they're going to get. I'm not carrying a scale around with me. I'm not going that far, so um, <laughs> I'm just hoping I just kind of went in and I just picked three I didn't shake them I didn't do anything so we'll see what happens um so out of the ones that I don't have <laughs> I would say the one that I want the most is Rex and it sucks because he's a 1 in 72 so it's slim odds that I'm actually going to um get that oh man and I just noticed that this is taped so someone already opened this <sighs> rats that's upsetting. It's probably a Woody or a Buzz, but hey, maybe it's not. Um, <laughs> so I would love to have Rex. I would love to have um, one of the little green men. Forky, of course. And then, I don't know the, this bunny and chicken quite yet, but they are very cute. Um, I don't really care about Bo right now. I don't really care much about any of the other characters in here, really. Like, Jesse's whatever. I'm not the biggest Jesse person. So I'm hoping... And I know this is a long shot. I mean, the alien's not a long shot. So I would love to get an alien. Um, but I'm really hoping for a Rex and a Forky. So let's see who we have in box number one. And I bought three um, because of the deal. So let's see who we have. Oh, 
good. This was, it was taped, but it was, it's still in its bag. So we'll see. So I'm feeling it. I think this is a Buzz Lightyear. Of course it is. It's a Buzz. It's a Buzz. Oh, this is going to be a failure. <laughs> but maybe not. I mean, who knows? Let's have good thoughts. Good vibes, right? Good thoughts and good vibes and we'll we'll get someone new at this point. I will just be happy to get someone new. And that's kind of why I started with these because I feel like I have a better op better odds of being let down with these than the other thing. Hopefully. Box number 2. I don't know. Probably Buzz. No, it's not. Okay, it's someone new. <laughs> it's the it's Gabby. Um, I think that she's supposed to be the villain in this movie, so this could work out. She's going to sit on the back burner because you guys know I love, again, I love my villains. So it's very possible that I might really end up liking Gabby a lot. So I'm just super happy to have someone new. She is a 1 in 24, so that's pretty cool. So this is the last one. Very well could be the last one that I ever open. <laughs> but I feel like I get roped into buying these over and over and over again. I'm such a sucker for mystery things. It's a sickness, really. All right, so. As I think this is another buzz. Ah, another buzz. <laughs> So I think this makes four buzzes that I have extra. All right, so then the other mystery thing that I got are the Lounge Fly Villains pins. So I was on the fence about these so hard because I'm just not sure about them, honestly. Um, <laughs> so I did, and obviously I decided to pick them up. I did get four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different pins that we can get. Um, I'll show you guys what ones we can get and then I'll tell you which ones I want the most. Okay, so top tier that I would like to have would be Jafar's Staff, the uh, Magic Mirror, the Hades Skull, and Yzma's Potion. I kind of like the Queen of Hearts crown, it's cool, but that's like second tier. Captain Hook I don't really have a particular affinity for, so don't care much for that. Um, the spinning wheel, I think that there's, I don't know, there's so much, some, something else they could have done with Maleficent, I think would be better. And then I think that this thing in down here, is that, is that the mask from the bad guy for Big Hero 6? That one kind of threw me for a loop, but let's see. Oh, it's Dr. Facilier. Okay. Again, I, I like Dr. Facilier, but that did not spark anything Dr. Facilier with me. It's been a million years since I've seen Princess and the Frog. Yeah, that one I'm not too jazzed about. So, Jafar Staff, Magic Mirror, Hades, and Llama Potion. Those are the four I'm hoping for. Do we have that kind of luck? <laughs> Probably not. With my luck, we will get like four Captain Hooks. All right, so I'm opening up the first one. They come in these little black bags with the notches, although I have seen from other lounge fly pins that like the bags kind of vary <laughs> sometimes. So we'll see if that is the case. So the first one that I'm pulling out is, oh cool, it's the Queen of Hearts crown. And I actually, I'm not too mad about this one. It has a glitter element. I swear that these lounge fly pins don't do any justice to how these pins actually look like on the box when you see them in person they're a lot prettier um it's a very simple pin but her heart is glittery and i think that that is so much fun Alrighty, box number two hopefully these aren't just all the same pin i would lose my mind <laughs> oh yeah it's something different because this one is silver that one was gold oh and it's hades yay so i got a hades one this one is very simple it is not sparkly at all um, it's just blue. Third box. We're having some decent luck so far. Let's see what we get. Alright, this one's silver too. 
Oh no, it's another Hades! <laughs> boo! I mean, yay for Hades, but boo for doubles. So I do have a Hades pin. If anyone is collecting this series and is looking for the Hades pin, then hit me up because I have an extra. All right, and our last pin. Fingers crossed, not a double. Not a double, not a double. Okay, it's different. It's, well, maybe, I don't know, it's gold. Oh, yay, it's the magic mirror. Oh, fun, okay. I'm good, I'm good with this. This is very pretty. It's very, I love the, um, the frame around the mirror. I think it's very detailed and very pretty. So, not too shabby. I'm not, not too mad about this haul. All right, so I really just, to make me happy with this collection, as far as what ones I need, um, would just be the Jafar stuff and the Llama Potion. So if you have either of them that you would be willing to trade for the Hades Skull, let me know and we can work something out. Um, but that is everything that I have for you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this massive haul of all sorts of Disney and American history and Marvel finds. Um, if you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you picked up any of this stuff recently or if you picked up anything fun yourself. Um, let me know if you've been collecting those Toy Story mystery minis and if you've had any luck with getting any of, any of them outside of just doubles over and over and over again. <laughs> um, and if you're going to be collecting the villains pins, I would like to know that too. I think that that is everything. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.